Lastly are the non-contact switches over here. This is designed to include technologies such as RFID or a reed type of a magnet inside of these so that they are a coated magnet in this case where uh, the nice thing about it is that they never do come together and slap together like you would on some of these tongue type of switches so the reliability is quite high and the fact that you only need one of these on a door to meet category four. So lastly let's talk about non-contact. What's non-contact mean? Well here you've got some provided tools that serve as door interlocks but these two parts that are a part of a pair here never do come together. They're only going to come within a certain proximity. Once within a certain proximity, it's going to be noted that the magnetism inside of here is going to uh, line up with the sensor and it's a coated magnet. So there's actually more than one magnet internally at a different polarity. So it's not easy to defeat by just holding up a typical magnet up to it. So you have mating parts here and they come in different shapes and sizes here. The MAG-1B1SM, 2SM is a little bit smaller, and then the 3SM is meant for uh, perhaps a hole that's been drilled in the middle of a door frame. Once you line up that door, you're now able to match the parts here, so it's something that's more embedded into the edge of a door, perhaps. And uh, these all have they are very cost effective by the fact that they're very easy to mount. You only need one of these on a door to meet that highest safety category because these are very, very reliable. There's not parts that are slapping together here. It's just being held in a close proximity and opened up again. So they're going to last a long time. They're all sealed up, so any type of washdown is not going to affect them. The only thing that will affect them is if you mount these right on directly into a metal surface that's going to possibly start to take away some of that magnetism. So there needs to be some spacers to provide the uh, effect of not having this thing detune itself, if you will. All right, so they are available with flying lead cables, or there's models that actually have a 4-pin M8 type of connector on there. And uh, the wiring of these are going to, because it's a complementary pair, unlike a lot of our other safety switches, which are mechanical, where you have two normally closed contacts, this one here, all of these provide a normally open and a normally closed. And when you open the door, they have to revert to the opposite position. So you need a controller that's going to be able to monitor that type of input choice, normally open and normally closed. The one that we have relied on for years is the GM-FA-10J. That does have that complementary input monitoring capability, or any one of our configurable controllers works as well. The SC10, the XS26, they all have that wiring choice to accommodate the mag switches.